Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the issue where you get this pop-up that says this app has been turned off by group policy. To allow this app to run, contact your security administrator to enable the program via group policy. Now this would be pretty straightforward if you were a security administrator or you had anybody else that was using this computer. But obviously this can be an issue, especially if you're running Windows 10 Home Edition and you do not have a group policy enabled. You don't actually have the functionality even available on your computer to access. So in this brief tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a quick workaround that should hopefully resolve this problem. So I'm going to close out of this little error message here. And just to show you guys the before and after, if I type in Windows Defender to open it up, I'll get this little error here. So in order to resolve this, all you got to do is head to the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Should be something that says run command. You want to right click on it and then proceed to left click on run as administrator. So you're going to get a user account control window asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You want to select yes. Okay. So once you have the registry editor open, I'm just going to minimize all this. This is from a different tutorial. So you want to go to H key local machine and you can either double click on the folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. Once you've done that, you want to do the same thing for software and then go down for policies. So you want to expand that one as well. Should be a folder that says Microsoft. Expand that one as well. And then there should be a folder that says Windows Defender right here. On the right side, there should be something that says Disable Anti-Spyware. You want to right click on it, left click on Delete. If you receive an alert saying deleting certain registry values could cause system instability, are you sure you want to permanently delete this value? Select Yes. At this point, you can close out of the registry editor. Go back to the Start menu, type in Windows Defender, and it should open up A-OK. -okay. So now you just click on start now to start up the service and you should be good to go. So I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.